Xmaps is an internet mapping tool that allows you to see the routes your data packets take through the internet. Did you know that a lot of the internet traffic that begins in Canada and ends in Canada travels via the US? We call this boomerang routing. Canadians who value their privacy may be concerned about boomerang routing because it means our personal data becomes subject to the USA Patriot Act. This controversial legislation grants US authorities broad surveillance powers, enabling them to secretly intercept and analyze personal communication with little oversight or accountability. Furthermore, the National Security Agency has installed surveillance equipment in the major US centers of internet routing, equipment that is capable of intercepting all the traffic passing through them. These NSA centers include the main cities that Canadian boomerang traffic passes through before returning to Canada, Seattle, San Francisco, Chicago, and New York. It isn't too surprising that traffic from one Canadian coast to another passes through the US, as there's more capacity south of the border and the route isn't much longer. What is more startling is that data packets that start and end their travel in the same city can often take the same boomerang route. Let's take a look at one particularly striking example. Let's follow the route that data packets of a University of Toronto student take when communicating online with the Ontario Student Assistance Program, better known as OSAP. The OSAP offices are part of the provincial government complex only a very short distance from campus. Any data the student provides to OSAP is first handled by the University of Toronto network, which transfers it to its principal internet service provider, the large US carrier Cogent Communications. Cogent sends the data to its New York City switching center, where there is a good reason to believe it can be intercepted by the NSA without a warrant. Cogent's privacy policy states, quote, Cogent makes no guarantee of confidentiality or privacy of any information transferred through or stored upon Cogent technology, end quote. So it's unlikely that Cogent would act to protect personal information from the NSA. From New York, the student's data is forwarded to Chicago, another city where the NSA is strongly suspected of setting up a warrantless wiretapping operation. In Chicago, Cogent connects with TELUS, the internet service provider for the Ontario government. TELUS carries the data back to Toronto for delivery to OSAP's computers. This entire trip only takes a fraction of a second, but is unnecessarily inefficient and exposes Canadians' data to U.S. spying. It's hard to determine why data is rooted in such a roundabout way. Commercial carriers such as TELUS and Cogent unfortunately treat their inter-network data exchanges as confidential business matters, which they don't make public. We do know that this pattern is not an isolated event. It is a normal part of current internet business in Canada. So far, we've collected hundreds of examples of Canadian boomerang routes. Check these and other interesting internet routes out on Xmaps' Explore page.